ready. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the final <laughs> session of Prison Break. Um, today, I will be recording the final three episodes of Prison Break. We're finally here at the end. Um, this has been an incredible journey. Um, for everybody that stuck with me throughout the end, I will be talking about this in the final episode, of course. But if you stayed with me this long, I really do appreciate it. Oh, I really do appreciate you guys for, for hitting that subscribe button, for liking the videos, um, and to do what you can to help comment on the videos. Um, even though I practically had to be begging sometimes <laughs> for you guys to, to, to do that, you know, I really do appreciate the guys that were consistent throughout the prison break journey of sticking with it people who have watched the the reactions even though you probably don't like the later seasons you still stuck it out with me i really do appreciate that anyways we're gonna jump into episode seven of season five can't wait to see how they wrap up this series um and i will be talking about it so make sure that for the final the final video season five episode nine make sure that you guys stick around and make sure you watch that review because i will be giving the show a rating and i also will be talking about what impressed me the most i'm also going to tell you guys finally what my top 10 tv shows of all times is so make sure you stick around for that after episode nine okay the final episode so thank you guys so much appreciate y'all let's jump into the reaction man i will see you guys right after for the review it's incredible how good you've gotten at drawing my really that's that's so good it's a Greek hero. He looks hurt. They all get hurt sooner or later. That's what's great about Greek heroes. They're real, not Superman. Since so he can take your brother to a first world doctor. First world thinks he's Canulavis. They'll arrest him on sight. So? What's the alternative? Let him die? What kind of a brother are you? Let's do this. Say something <laughs> again. I swear to God, I'll kill you. You don't understand who Link is. You, <laughs> Link don't play around, and I don't still don't trust might you. Might be a third option. Ain't I'm no way that. Sarah is not plot. Right yeah, you know I'm saying. Yes, sir. <laughs> sir, listen. It's been poison. You think it's antifreeze? He's lost a lot of blood. He needs a lot of blood. Okay, he needs a lot of things if it's antifreeze. Listen, uh, we're heading to Greece. Is there any way we can get some medical help off the books? No, 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 no. This isn't the kind of thing that you want to do off the books. I'll call you back. Hey, what's going on? I, uh, I gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> he's alive. He's poisoned. Well, at least Michael, he's, he's being truthful. Yeah. Wait, hold on a second. He really is alive. He contacted you just now. Yeah, and uh, and he needs help, and I think I'm the only one that can help him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sarah, y you don't owe him that. You, you don't know what you'd be walking into. It's not safe. I'll be fine. I don't have a choice. Uh, th 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 this, this has been a hell of a week. OK, look, I know you've got a million questions just like I do, OK? I can't look my son in the eye and tell him that I let his father die when I could have tried to save him. And if I told you not to go? <laughs> if it's a big word in that sentence, Jacob, are you telling me not to go? No. No, of course not. Is 
it's not like you could have stopped her anyways. <laughs> Unless you are Poseidon, sir. You're a free man, Joe. The choice is yours. I owe you my life. You gave me back the world. Get him healthy. Get safe. Yeah. That is big. That is big. That is that is big. That is big for Michael to hear because of all the stuff that he's put the people around him through, the people who has, he has broken out of prison, the the lives that he has affected, and that's one of the biggest themes of the of the show, you know, um, since they broke out of a Fox River, was that the people that he's broken out have done, you know, bad things, good things, and it's just it just always feels like it's never been you know no accountability to what to um what they're doing is always taking a toll on michael because he's always thinking about it. It, it it's like always trying to make it right you know what i'm saying how far is it to greece 12 hours sarah's gonna be there in 12 12 hours in me <laughs> I was right. We got problems. Apparently, the State Department is asking questions about 21 Boyd after our visit to NSA yesterday. They have no viable information. 21 Boyd doesn't exist. In a way, that State Department agent wants to meet as soon as we land. You can't die on me now, Michael, you know? At this point, he can't die. Roger, Michael. He's died twice <laughs> already. First time I've ever really known your name. Even though I feel like they let me believe Michael is dead three I times. Like I mean, met, two times you know? already. They believe he died. You know, we, we link here. of the tumor. Then they let me believe he died rescuing Sarah it's the from first prison. Time I ever felt like an outsider with you. And here we go again. You know, like, like a lost part of my family or something. Michael, you can't die. Please. Yo. <sighs> I missed you. Of course you have. I'm gonna fix you, Liz. And then we'll talk, okay? Mm. I'm gonna make you okay. Gerard used to like... Shh. Shh. It's okay. Um, Sarah is... Sarah and Michael, these two actors, they have... It's not like I've never seen this kind of chemistry between two actors, but as I told you guys before, I'm actually really surprised that Michael is, um, you know what I'm saying? He's gay in real life. Like, you could have never told me that. <laughs> is he gonna live? Depends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he'll live. Give him a couple. Man, you'd be lucky to have a brother who cares as much as you, you know? Wife like that. Family. Your family, no. I'll drink to that. <laughs> yeah. We need a big boat. One that doesn't mind a radioactive cargo, you know? Aldous killed Abu Ramal, did the country a service. So why were you still at NSA yesterday trying to kill him? Why don't we get off the tarmac? We'll share what we can about our investigation. Wait a second, so this dude is not... This is all just bureaucratic miscommunication. The CIA didn't sanction your visit to NSA yesterday. No one even knew you were there. Who are you working for, really? Why were you trying to take out Canyon Aldous? Bruh. 
I am so confused because I thought is I thought this guy was he he was the one he's the mole in the CIA for 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 Poseidon. Like, am I missing something here? Did I have <laughs> I, I just have this weird feeling that this kid, the kid that's talking, I can never remember his name, right? Whip hand, right? I just have this weird p feeling that he's Poseidon. But it still could be Sarah's husband, though. You know what I'm saying? It still could be him. He could be telling the truth about, you know, what he tried to do. It just kind of seems like, you know, the story just doesn't add up. Because my, 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 I, I don't think I have not predicted anything in the show <laughs> so far, so. I'll tell you everything you want to know. Picture of my son. <laughs> we were at NSA yesterday. I'm telling you, this is a mistake. I have a contact at the NSA, and she gave me proof. You're not calling him Junior, are you? <laughs> I promised you I would never do that. You like who this? Oh no, he recognized them. He recognized them. Michael recognized them. It's him. Your husband. Jacob. Jacob. It is him. Yo. Jacob is beside me. I guess I the kid is the kid is okay. The kid oh, is God. okay. Because if Michael he, confirmed he, it. He was honest and hurt, and I bought it. He said I could never see either one of you again. Or Mike. He made me fake my death. And then he just used me. He married me. If I'd known he was your husband, I swear. No, 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 no. This is not on you. I... Why now? Why did you come back now? He knew she still you? loved him. He said a meeting. We were supposed to discuss my next assignment. Fall in love with the with, <laughs> with the, tar the target. It was that we were meeting a man named Harlan Gaines, a deputy director of the CIA. Gaines was investigating Twenty One Void, looking for the traitor behind it. That's when I knew my work wasn't sanctioned by the CIA. Poseidon shot and killed Gaines that night to stop the investigation. I knew I was being set up. He was tightening his control over me, but there was nothing I could do. At least that's what he thought. Sarah, there is a plan to make this right, to protect our family. Michael, he's with our son right now. He's with Mike. Who are you calling? Sucre, nigga. A friend who actually has a boat. You gotta be Sucre, right? Or somebody else? Yeah, but. What would it cost to hitch a ride? You can't hitch a ride. You have to rent the whole ship. The boss charges 50k a leg, Link. You want to get back to the States? It's 50k. 50k? We're just trying to get home. You know we don't have that kind of cash. You do now. Thank you. We got it, Sucre. Get the creep. As soon as you get a chance to get away with Mike, you take it. Well, Mike got kidnapped and for some reason doesn't seem like Poseidon gives a damn or he planned the, the kidnapping I have an amazing doctor on call I will wear the mask I will play his game and if he hurts our son I'll kill him Please come back to us. At this point, you better. 
at this point, the conclusion has to be that Michael gets to be with his family. She's leaving Crete alone, which means she left Outus behind. Now he'll try to follow, return to the U.S. in the next day or two. Luke Holland. Only be by ship or plane, so plaster his face on all maritime and air channels focusing on all vessels departing from Crete in the next 48 hours. Mommy's on her way home. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Uh, do I need to... Where were you? 20... Bruh! Didn't this kid get snatched? Or, or, or was I imagining things? Didn't he get snatched? How is he still with Jacob? Poseidon, whatever his name is. Because that was kind of weird. I want to hear every damn thing that's happened to you since you died. <laughs> Bobby, you're alive. <laughs> Best friends for life, he man. Corrupt bastard. Don't mess with him. He's got guns in the hole, all kinds of contraband. The street value is 125k. Five or half that. Still make a profit. The boat is the last place I expected to find you, buddy. But you hated the water. Yeah, you remember. But I got a record. <laughs> Not a lot of employers lined up to take a chance on me. Besides, this ship provides opportunities for my side business, which is the real reason I'm on this boat. This baby, this is my entire life savings. I'll let you guys take one of my ladies for a spin. What is he smuggling? Freaking sex uh -huh. dolls or something? Why, sex dolls? No, <laughs> have some class, man. The term is inflatables. High quality, expensive, very lifelike. It's inflatables, uh, not... <laughs> hey, honey. Hey, you. You're gonna be like, you're not kissing me the same. What's going on? <laughs> Where's Mike? Sleep. Yeah. I slept most of the time. I, I did what I could for him. I, uh, I stabilized him. But he changed. He, uh, he's just not the guy I knew. Hmm. So they dropped me at the airport, and that was that. They? Lincoln, some other guy. What happened to your grandmother's ring? I'm such an idiot. I took it off on the way over for safekeeping because I didn't want it to get stolen. And when I looked for it on the way back, it was gone. So he's supposed to study your mannerisms and everything by now so i know he can probably tell she's lying yeah we spoke to our man at the pentagon seal team's been deployed orders to seek and destroy canyon outis good we've done our job getting the message out now it's time for the seals to do theirs. I'll touch up with one of his sex dolls. They're not dolls, man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, flat of balls. Let's just change the subject, please. I know, might be something to be said for settling down. Right, well, that's not in the cards. Slide from the outside. They made you. You really are a wanted terrorist. What the hell do you think he was saying? If there was an analogy. Oh, <laughs> There's no other way out of this cabin. Smith says that he thought it was an analogy, bruh. We got company. You say we jump. That's a long way down. It's the only way out. It's too far. I have an idea. Inflatables? It's gonna hurt. <laughs> okay. Listen, I'll explain later. Don't bring him back here. Okay, keep him with you. I'll be over as soon as I can. Can you do that for me? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll leave right now. Is, is everything okay? No. No, <laughs> not the window! No, not the window! What do you see? No visual. <laughs> Alpha 1, Alpha 2 to port side. Now. I'm a member of this crew. Check the roster, man. I got no part on any of this. Check the roster for Fernando Sucre. Take him to the bridge. Yes, sir. We've got active pursuit on engine deck. 
Watch him. The guy's name is Schofield. Guys, oh, come, come on, hurry! Hurry! Come on! Fuck! It's starting! Smoke him out! Go! That is the ventilation is gonna ruin my cargo! This is your fault, you dummy. What ship mate I ever hired you brought this scum on board my ship? They're your friends. Where are they going? They're associates of associates. I haven't seen them in years. What did you tell the nice seal here? Oh, you accept the payment for their passage. <clears throat> Maybe they're your friends. I'm mine. <laughs> okay, okay. I love how the seal is just standing there while he <laughs> abuses a suspect. <laughs> Black container 17. The one with your super secret cargo, huh? Weapons and munitions? Vincent, Tangos may be arming themselves. Man, they're not gonna like you if they find that, are they? Vincent. You might just end up in the terrorist watch list, too. Vincent, do you copy? I can't read you. Captain. Knock his ass out. I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> What's going on? The ship's changing course. <laughs> I did it, Bobby. No going back now. <laughs> See what their next move is. Sierra got to be careful, man. I'm worried about her. Yeah, of course. How you opened up told me you carried shame for what you did at Fox River. How some days you wished you'd never heard the name Michael Schofield. Even admitted to lying. Mm, keeping okay. it all from me. Accepted you. Loved you and Mike. How is that not enough for you? Yeah, you like somebody feel sorry for him and his tears. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I have him. Literally skiing oh yourself. It's uh, fine. Yeah. Hand it home now. Hi, Mom. Oh, Heather, thank God. Navigation's been trashed. The control's damaged. Damn it. Tramps off course. Moving toward Algerian waters. Top speed. Can we fix it? It'll take time, and by then we'd be out of international waters. Falcon 1, requesting orders. We have a situation. The Navy just made the call to pull the team. All right, all right. The SEALs couldn't do it. We escalate our move. Shouldn't have brought a knife to a gunfight. I will handle from here. Thank you. I thought you weaseled yourself into this woman's life. You're out over here. <laughs> what more could I turn for you? Yes. I have an idea. Oh! One that's intuitive. <laughs> I believe you'll find that our interests are aligned. If someone does. What are they doing? They're leaving. Why? Run! Oh, God. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey! No! They said blow the ship. They don't give a damn. Not safe. Life, the lies, the mask. You're gonna tell me everything. Like who you really are. How about you what just shoot him us? in the head? That oh. works. <laughs> Who's our life? That's what I would have done. It's not over, Sarah. Not even close. I'm telling you, man, Heather is an agent for him. I love him. Where did she take him? Michael's dead. Your Nightingale trip to Greece led me straight to him. So, it's all on you, Sarah. Or not. <laughs> your that? plan with Heather didn't work. Where's my son? I have him. And whether or not I have to threaten him, which I don't want to do, is entirely contingent upon you putting the gun down. Heather really was innocent. <laughs> the situation is um, with this show. I'm just 
spewing a bunch of stuff out <laughs> yeah i'm saying like what i think is going on <laughs> but i thought heather i i really thought heather was like a spy for him um but she seemed legitimately um you know because i just don't trust nobody if it's not if you're not part of the crew i don't trust you. i don't trust the moves you're making or anything i'm skeptical of everybody <laughs> okay you know what i'm saying but when you actually think about it you know when you actually think about it and what the writers are doing um is making the obvious making the obvious not obvious obvious <laughs> if you understand what i'm saying it's like they lead you in such a way where they're leading you to think this but it's not really like that <laughs> you know what i'm saying um so it's just for me um the situation with heather the situation with the dude that's with michael you know what i'm saying whip hand um i'm skeptical of everybody that i don't know because when it comes on to if this guy was a cia operative right and the way how he moves, the way how he moves, you would think that he would, you know what I'm saying, have someone like deep undercover with him as well as an agent, maybe somebody that lives close to him. You know what I'm saying? So I was thinking that would have been Heather, but apparently Heather is not a part of this. You know what I'm saying? He, she's legitimately Sarah's friend. You know what I'm saying? Um, I thought that Poseidon was just keeping somebody close to Sarah to watch their moves. But this guy, he really in love with this woman. He's really out here. He's really, he really fell for Sarah. And really just wanted to, he wants to kill Michael because he realizes that Sarah still loves Michael. So he really compromised his operation, everything that he's been doing for love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I, I respect it a little bit, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? You got to stay on mission. You know what I mean? You got to stay on mission. That goes for all you young men out there. You know what I'm saying? Don't compromise your mission for love. Love, it ain't worth it. <laughs> it ain't worth it. Unless, you know what I'm saying? Um, don't compromise the mission. Make sure that love becomes a part of the mission is what i should say right is what i should tell you guys make sure love becomes a part of the mission don't let it veer you off from the mission okay um i'll let you start doing stupid things like trying to kill your your girl's ex-boyfriends and stuff <laughs> you know what i mean um but in any case man this was a good episode great episode we got michael um got healed sarah flew out got him patched up and uh, now they almost died um from the missile is in the missile to blow up the ship they had to jump off um so pretty much everybody the the captain is dead you know um sucre's inflatables <laughs> you know sucre's inflatables as though we call them inflatables <laughs> just <is> weird <laughs> Um, so yeah, man, this was a good episode. This was a really good episode. Can't wait to watch the next two. Of course, man, I live to, to see what they're going to do here and what, how they're going to wrap up the series. As I said, at this point, you can't, you know what I'm saying? It can't go out where Michael is actually dead again. We beat that dead horse. You know what I'm saying? And in my opinion, if that happens, you know, at the end of episode nine, where Michael dies again in some way, or if he dies for real, I'm going to be really upset with it. I'm not going to feel sentimental about it. I'm going to, the, the, it's going to lose points for me. It's going to lose points for me because we've seen this twice already in the series. You know what I'm saying? These two times now, and I talked about it during the episode, it's two times now that we thought Michael has died, right? Mind you, you know what I'm saying? 
it works for the show these two times it works the first time was after the time skip in episode four we saw that he was dead right and you know we just saw a headstone right thought he died from the tumor that was left to assumption then comes with um you know the movie final break and final break showed michael didn't die the way we thought he died so they showed us what happened in that four year period um sarah got locked up then we thought he died of electrocution right and now and now in season five they brought him back they thought he was legitimately dead now they explained it very well and i accept that explanation now you can't go back to that again like it's it's that's dead in the water you can't let michael die now we need to have at this point you need to give us a happy ending if you will where michael is with his boy sarah is there sucre drinking a bit beer with michael and lincoln you know what i'm saying um something of the sort like that we need a a, a big reunion at the end with everybody you know what i mean maybe even show the scuba shop or whatever um something of the sort um that's what i'm thinking you know what i mean that's what i'm thinking so legitimately poseidon if i was to describe the type of person that he is he's a bitch <laughs> he's a bitch complaining about bureaucratic so oh, i don't like how the government is doing things so yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all of this into my own hands because you know what i'm saying um i guess things are moving too slow for him he doesn't like you know whatever whatever the situation is you can't just start your own faction you know what i'm saying it's kind of like starting your own political party and think you're gonna do something listen there's a few people in the history of the united states that have tried to do that and it never worked <laughs> it never works you know what i'm saying you could try to run as an independent person it's it's no the the republican party the republican party and democratic party have too much punching power for you to go up against you get what i'm saying like legitimately no matter what you think you're going to do you still need that support because too much of the the groundwork has been done by those two parties already so it's hard for you to be become to run for president if you will um as an independent party of those two factions it's 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 extremely hard to win i would say i would say that that is never going to change forever you get what I'm saying? Forever. I don't think there's ever going to be somebody who runs at an at at independent party and win an, win an election in these United States. That's just my feeling about it because the ground run, it's kind of like somebody, um, you know what I'm saying? It's not even about, uh, unless, I think the only way that you can probably do that, right? That you can possibly do that, right? not only would you have to be the absolute best candidate but you gotta have the war chest like what was displayed in probably like season one of this show you got your war chest gotta be bigger than anybody else you gotta come with the biggest war chest ever maybe a belly you know what i'm saying so it's 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 crazy it, it's crazy because there's there's so much that goes into e election mind you not all of them are com uh, you know a hundred percent legit or whatever but there's just so much to it but that's neither here nor there i don't like to talk politics but either way <laughs> you get what my point is so the type of person that poseidon is and he's very effective he's very effective so i give him credit for that he's been very effective um, throughout, you know, cause they can't find him. I mean, the, you know, you train a man to do something, then he becomes so good at it. You know what I'm saying? That he's able to use it against you. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. But that, that's just what it is. So 
now that we have Sierra is in trouble now, she's gonna have to behave because she decided to take her take the mask off way too early. Um, I mean, seriously, he wasn't scared because, you know, he probably heard the conversation she had in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Probably um, there's a possibility that the person, the, the house that Michael was at sleeping, that person probably called Jacob and be like, yo, Heather is picking up your son. What's good? You know what I'm saying? In the middle of the night, what's going on? You know, so it could have been a situation like that. But Sarah, Sarah rushed it, man. She, she definitely rushed it. But at the same time, you know, I understand why she did it because she felt like Michael was safe. Now that, now that, now she can, you know what I'm saying? Do what she needs to do to get rid of Jacob. He's like, oh, you're going to tell me everything. Like, nah, my son is safe. I know you're Poseidon because I trust Michael more than I trust you. That's a double tap. Easy. <laughs> that's an easy double tap for me you know what i'm saying that's an easy i don't i, I don't you know what i'm saying i'm just saying in the context of the show okay in the context of the show that's an easy double tap no questions i don't need to know what you're thinking i got poseidon in my in my in my sights you know what i'm saying it's bang bang you know what i mean so it's crazy that she's saying you're gonna tell me every what what are you gonna do with the information that you get from poseidon like let's be honest here what are you gonna do with the information out him <laughs> you know what i mean it's just like oh i'm gonna just gonna sit here and tell you everything about my operation that i've been doing for these all these years <laughs> um so yeah that was a dumb thing on sarah's part for sure but um i think right then and there but then again you know she her thinking that her her son was safe you know what i mean but then again they he, the guy over there probably didn't know probably wouldn't know that sarah killed poseidon so you know what i'm saying he probably would have held him hostage and was waiting for orders or whatever and they probably could have made a plan to go get the kid um either way great stuff great stuff as i said man season five might just become my favorite season of the show i don't know why but we'll see how they wrap it up and then i will figure it out anyways thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all don't forget to hit the like button and comment i'll give you guys a good second uh oh you're doing it uh all right <laughs> peace out man i'm out <laughs>